Hello, this video is on the relationship between activity and receptivity in the Middle Way series. So these are two very broad areas which need to come together. So let's just look at them first of all separately. So uh, firstly, receptivity. So in terms of awareness and attitude and approach, this is taking in what's here, being receptive, being open. Now, as soon as one just uses those two words, being receptive and being open, uh, it's worthwhile just focusing in a little bit on them. I mean, the word open or openness in the context of awareness of oneself in uh, the practice of mindfulness and meditation is that they're, to put it in, uh, in negative terms, there are no no-go areas. So, in other words, the experience or the attitude towards openness is openness to whatever is here, rather than the self-selecting uh, process that I like this, I don't like that, I'll stay with this, I won't stay with that, this exists in my experience, but as far as I'm concerned, that doesn't exist, but it does. So, the, the attitude of openness is also intentional. So there is an activity uh, and initiative aspect to being prepared to be open to, to what is here. So one of the main uh, sort of expressions, practical expressions of the relationship between openness and uh, receptivity on the one hand and activity in the area of openness is just this being able to keep the intention to keep broadening one's awareness from whatever partitions or sectors of your experience you're used to uh, experiencing and broadening out to include you know, a wider range of depth, even of heights, of breadth, uh, and a, you know, a sense of the whole range of uh, qualities of mind and experiences that are here. So being receptive and open isn't just completely passive. It is, it has within it a sense of engagement. On the other hand, uh, the quality of being active in one's awareness, mindfulness and, and growth and development, there's much more a sense of exploring and what is here and what needs to happen, uh, what adjustments need to be made, uh, in this situation. So there is always a relationship between the activity and the receptivity. The receptivity shows you the situation and the activity gives you the, uh, the active element of well, what needs to be done here, if anything. So there might be an element you might notice that there is an element of being settled. So what do you need to do with that? Do you need to do anything? Well, at least, at the very least, you need to have the intention to stay with it so it doesn't tr sink into uh, a sort of more uh, somnambulant state. And on the other hand, if you, you notice that your mind is very active and going off, uh, the active aspect is consciously to bring uh, intention to calming and focusing the mind and bringing the mind back to a whole experiential uh, object, sense of the object. So again, the active aspect is linked with the receptive, with uh, the openness to what is here. It's active in relationship to what is here. 
So in this way, very generally, in one's life, one is starting to get the sense of the relationship between the just taking in, just noticing, observing, and the actively looking, actively engaging, and actively being involved in the process of uh, discerning whether what is happening is helpful or unhelpful to you in your practice of awareness or meditation or your growth and development generally. And that then leads to the more active aspect, even more of adjusting, doing something about it uh, as, as you can, as best you can.